Hey guys, I'm Dan, check this out. So today, we will be building lots of new dinosaur figures, okay? Check this out. We have three dinosaurs to build right here and plenty of 3D puzzle figures for us to assemble. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, so today, it will be a day of building and creating, okay? This is basically my collection of 3D puzzle dinosaur figures, which I'm pretty excited about. We also have a brand new set right here, which we can build and play like three different dinosaurs. Pretty excited to see how they will turn out. So I think let's do this together. Let's go guys. All right guys, so at the back, you can see we have our super colossal Brachiosaurus and of course, um, what is this? A Troceraptor Tiger. I want you guys to comment down below like which one do you guys prefer? Like do you guys like Brachiosaurus more or the Troceraptors? I'm going with the Brachiosaurus, okay? Okay, first, I, I think we... I, I'm pretty excited to actually uh, assemble this. I saw this on like one of these online stores, so I thought, you know, maybe we should get it and see how we can actually assemble this. You can basically assemble it into a T-Rex, blue, and also Triceratops. Pretty cool, but we definitely need the space to do this assembly, so maybe let's fix up some of this figures right here first. This is actually a new figure that was given to us by a Dan Safarian, okay? A dinosaur, so let's try to assemble this. I think this looks like a T-Rex, so I'm gonna pop in on um, the hind legs. It is looking like pretty massive. It is a massive 3D um, um, dinosaur as you guys can see. And here's the other leg right here. It's a pretty big 3D puzzle figure, as you can see, uh, I mean, as compared to the rest, which are kind of small. And here is the tail, let's just pop it right in. This is basically the tip of the tail. Just push, push it right in, so you, you guys can see this is clearly a T-Rex, I think. And this is the um, right arm. Pop it right in, and now the left arm, wow. Not too sure where this is from, I think this is from 4D Master, which is quite a high quality figure. So you can see, the T-Rex has two fingers on each arm. Pretty impressive figure, I would say. So this is a brand new figure, just want to say a huge thanks to um, Jeremiah for sending us this, which is awesome. If you guys want to scan, send me fan mail, you can go on to our About Us tab. There's actually an address for you guys to like send me drawings and stuff like that. You can send me letters as well, okay? What is this? This is basically, I think this is a Triceratops. Is this a Triceratops? Um, maybe not guys, because if you take a look at the crown, the crown doesn't seem to be a Triceratops. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm going with Triceratops. If I got this wrong, I want you guys to like comment down below. I think we put put the head in the wrong direction. I think it should be in this direction. Just pop in um, the body. And here is the um, the tip of the tail. Um, yeah, I think this one, it doesn't look like a Triceratops. The crown doesn't look like a Triceratops. I'm trying to find its name. I don't think it has a name below. What is this, guys? I'm not too sure. Is it a Casmosaurus? I want you guys to help me down below, okay? Please, comment down below. Let's assemble two more so that we have a space right here, okay? So let's assemble this. This one, it should be a um, Pachycephalosaurus. I mean, how many of you guys have actually seen some of my older videos that, uh, you know, we, we have all these 3D, par 3D puzzles? I think not many of you guys. So this is a Pachycephalosaurus. Pretty cool one. Let's assemble one more. This one, I think it should be a Velociraptor. I think so. So let's just pop in the tail. And uh, let's clear the space. So let's open this up. So it's basically like, what is this? Includes wood storage case. So I'm gonna take like a box cutter. Let's um, open this up together, guys. I'm gonna use a box cutter to cut this open. I mean, if you are a kid, please be really careful. You guys, I mean, if you guys have been watching my videos, you should know that I always talk about being careful with pen knife, pocket knife, or, you know, box cutter. Uh, because you guys know, I am like a super clumsy person. Wow, what is this, guys? Very nice. It actually comes with like a cover. Okay, let's remove this little cover right here. Cool. Very cool. Oh, what is this, guys? 
Okay, there's one sheet right here, which um has the body of blue, I think. Let me place this one sheet behind. Let's have a look at what? What do you mean? There's only one? Pretty sure there's more. Oh, there you go. There are basically more sets right below. What is this set? Wow, this one is the T-Rex. Let me just place this one right here. And it comes with an instruction sheet. I think we need the instructions. I'm not super confident of doing this without um, the instructions. Wow, it comes with really beautiful stickers. Oh my goodness, this one looks awesome. So you have a Gigar, you have Dimetrodon, Dilophosaurus, Atrociraptus, Parasaurolophus. Pretty awesome stuff. And of course, it comes with some of these signages. Some of these signages like Keep a Distance or Sierra Nevada. It's basically a different parts, different parks, and um, different areas of um, Jurassic World. Very nice. I'm gonna put um, the stickers right here underneath the Brachiosaurus. I think it's time for us to assemble this, guys. So. I think this set right here shall I'm I'm pretty excited about the T-Rex. So yeah, you guys know I, I love T-Rex. But I actually like um Giga more right now. Yeah, I'm kind of like I love the Giga right now. I mean yeah, I, I hope to hear from you guys. Do you guys like prefer T-Rex or do you guys prefer Giganotosaurus more? I mean right now at this current point of time I actually fancy Giganotosaurus Maw because it's such a, an amazing carnivorous dinosaur. I mean, you know, it was destroyed by the Therizinosaurus as well as the T-Rex, but I don't think it was a fair battle because two against one, guys, two against ones. Um, let's assemble this. Let's try. Oh my goodness. How do we... Let's remove this. Yeah, I think this is like made of wood. Plywood, if I'm not wrong. It feels pretty sturdy. Let's remove this part as well. And here's the legs. Tiny little arms. Let's get all the parts out. The tail. I think this is the tail of the T-Rex, I think. This one belongs to the um, Triceratops, I think. Okay, the arms. You have to be really careful because this is actually quite sharp. So I actually like, you know, sort of like I feel a little bit painful and my finger went through the um, this little plywood. Okay, let's just pop up all the different parts. Um, I think this doesn't belong to... I don't think any parts belong to the T-Rex right here. So we have a couple of um, parts right here, guys. So where is our instructions? Sitting right here. I'm gonna put the instructions over here. Not going to pretend I'm super smart. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's try to assemble this right now, guys. Let's try this. I think you have to pop this in over here. I think so. Not exactly very sure. Let's try. Let's try it. No, no, no. Um, you have to assemble this part. How do we do that? Do we pop this right in like this? I think so, guys. But this is just like a smaller one right here. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. And you have to slot this bottom piece right in to connect the body. I think this is the way. There's a big gap, which is kind of weird. Let me try to figure this out. Alright guys, check this out. We are almost done with the body. As you guys can see, I think we have managed to like push it in closer together. And right now it's looking pretty decent. Of course, there's still like a little gap. I think you have to use like lots of strength to push it in. I'm not very strong, not a very strong guy. Okay, but I think this will do. This actually looks quite good. So let's pop in um, the legs first. Okay, so these are actually made of wood. So it's kind of like, you know, pretty lightweight wood, I would say. Okay, let's remove this. Let's pop in the other leg right here, which is the um, right leg. All right, let's push this in. Have to be really careful not to cut yourself. And now for the arms. Let's try this. Where do we pop, pop in the arms? I think right here. Yeah, pretty decent. I think it's looking pretty cool. Let's push it right in. And now for the last part, which is the tail. Okay, 
Yep. Nicely done. I think this looks pretty cool, guys. What do you guys think? Yeah, this is basically the T-Rex. I think this particular illustration is actually drawn by, um, drawn specially for Jurassic World Dominion. Looking very good. Of course, the other side is actually like plain. You don't see any illustrations. So, yeah, very, very nice. I actually like this quite a lot. So we have our very first one. Um, let's proceed to our next one. How about let's get blue out? Let's get blue out. So let's remove all the parts of blue. This belongs to blue as well. This one too. This is probably the body. And this is the other part of the body. The other part of the, um, the body. And here are the legs. So let's see how we can actually assemble this. This one should be simple. It should be the same concept. Should be the same way. Um, let's just remove all of this. Okay, this one, this part, I think it definitely goes behind. Goes to the, uh, the back of this over here. I think so. But it feels kind of loose. That's really weird. Do we put it right here? Let's see, let's take a look at the instructions. Yeah, this is correct. This is weird. This is a bit too loose. Too loose for blue. It, it falls out too easily, guys. I think, yeah, this one is really weird. I don't think this works for blue. It's kind of like too, too loose. Maybe it's the other one, the smaller one. Could it be? Nah, it's not exactly. This one is the smaller one on top. This one fits in nicely. Maybe let's try this as well. Yeah, it's a bit too loose for, for both. Okay, let's pop in um, the, the arms first. Um, right arm. Way too loose. I think this is a, is a little bit faulty. Yeah, it doesn't really work well. But you can see it looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. How can we stick this in? We, we probably need to put some glue. Yeah, otherwise it keeps sliding off, guys. But for the time being, let's just pop it right in. Hopefully it works. My table is slightly dirty as you guys can see with all the wood scrapes and dust. Okay, there you go. This is blue. I think it's looking pretty awesome. It doesn't have a movable mouth. I mean, not that, you know, the T-Rex has, but you know, the mouth, the lower jaw is actually a separate part. So this is blue. Pretty decent. But I like the T-Rex more so far. And it can stand, which is awesome. Okay. Our last one is actually the Triceratops. So the Triceratops, let's get the body out. It should be pretty awesome. Okay, let's get this one out as well. This one out. Cool. The connector. The other connector. Okay, let's get the leg out first. This connector is a little bit yeah, it's a really, little bit tight, so you have to like use some force. Alright, I think this should be extremely simple to assemble. So usually, let me see, let me see. I still need the instructions. So the bigger part, the bigger connector is actually at the back. So let's do this. Yeah, I, I think we have to like connect them first. Where is this? Where is this from? Is this part of the T-Rex? There's no way, right? This is like the... This one should be the tail. How does this work? Like this? I think so. Let's try. Okay. Slot it in. Okay, we need the other connector. Push this right in. And connect this. Try to use as much force as possible, but be really careful. I mean, I'm telling myself, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. Looking pretty decent. Now for the legs, guys. We have um quite a number of the legs. Um, the bigger one should go behind. Yeah, I think so. So this one is definitely 
right here this is a smaller one right front leg um, this is the bigger one I think it would be nice if they actually painted both sides that would make you know it make so much better okay our last part there you go the Tresia tops pretty nice I would say very very nice all right next item let's have a look at this this is also a 3d sort of like a 3d puzzle figure or more like a diorama let me just cut this open it's not an official kind of um, Jurassic World product but I thought maybe you guys may like it because it looks so adorable and it actually comes with like a keychain so you can actually assemble this yeah this is like a little book so you can fold this little book I think how do you actually fold it you fold it let me see let me take a look at the instructions okay how do we open this Hmm. I think um, let's see I have no idea how to actually work this guys no idea at all ah I think I know it's supposed to be like a secret little book but you have to like Turn this in. Close this. Wow, it's awesome! So it's like a little book right here, 3D Dinosaur World. And you just press this little button and it springs right open. So what do we have right here? We have an erupting volcano with the lava flowing down. We have this little waterfall with the um, you know water flowing down into this little river. You also have like a mini triceratops I guess and this one you know it should be a t-rex and you can see we have like two beautiful illustrations of um t-rex behind with some pteranodons flying in the background you can also find some sauropods probably brachiosaurus this one right here is definitely brachiosaurus as you guys can see yeah pretty cool pretty awesome not an official jurassic world product but i think this is pretty cool you can keep this like a little book yeah it looks kind of nice just press it spring right open oh my goodness it's, it's really really adorable i like it yep pretty cute little design all right it's time for us to move on to our other i'm gonna clean this mess up guys you can see we have like so many bits and pieces of wood there's also some some fragments right here okay guys so let's assemble let's assemble let's try to assemble um as many as possible so i've assembled a velociraptor just now right you know great next let's assemble this one what do we have right here Hermagosaurus. Hermagosaurus was a dinosaur that was discovered in um argentina i think so it's known as the Hermagos lizard it is a beautiful sauropod as you guys can see i really love what they have done you know to the neck to the neural spine bones red fiery red with some yellow and orange makes it look really really vibrant <coughs> beg your pardon next up we have a carnivore right here it seems to be a baby t-rex so let's pop this in yep it's a juvenile t-rex i know the face looks weird it looks kind of like you know funny looks like a low quality little figure but i think it looks adorable all right let's see what else we've got right here on the table it's pretty messy right now you can see that we have a bullfrog right here you know um i shown this bullfrog in my dan safari channel if you guys have not subscribed dan safari search it i upload animal videos over there <coughs> beg your pardon i think it's a little bit dusty right here let's assemble this one what do we have right here <coughs> i beg your pardon i don't think this is an ankylosaurus because 
and Cosaurus doesn't have like two flaps of this um, at the back of his tail. It looks more like a Euplocephalus to me. Probably. Probably. Right? So that's another one for you. Let's assemble this one. We have two Stegosaurids. Are you guys like able to tell just by looking at these parts? This is a Stegosaurus without a dot. This is a simple one. You guys, I think you guys should know it better than me. Stegosaurus, the roof lizard. Orange Stegosaurus. I think this one looks really nice. What about this one, guys? Are you guys like able to tell just by this part right here? It's not a Stegosaurus. It's actually a Kentrosaurus. Yep. That's right. Kentrosaurus. You know, you can recognize this dinosaur by the two huge spikes on his body. On both sides of the shoulder. And it's known as the... If I'm not wrong, it's known as the Pointed Lizard. Yep. It's popping the, um, the neck. Quite a nice one, I would say. Okay, let's take a look at these two right here. So these two are basically carnivores. This one is pretty epic. I love the colors. It's like, you know, it's really shouting out. It's really fluorescent. Yeah, it looks very cool. This is a Gigar. I think so. I think so. I, I call this a Gigar, but... um, It has two fingers, which is weird. So it could be a Tarbosaurus. He has two fingers. Gigar has three fingers. So it's not a Gigar. This one is easy. I mean, first glance at the head, you should be able to um, recognize it. Yeah, I mean, if you are like some sort of a dino expert, this is a Ceratosaurus. Yep. And how many of you guys actually got it right? Yep. Pretty cool figure. You know, it basically features the Ceratosaurus like turning back and see. Hey, stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's like just looking back. Kind of nice, kind of like chew. Yeah, not really like, you know, roaring at another another dinosaur or something like that. It just looked like, you know, it's taking us break. Just looking back. Nice, nice figure. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, kind of mess right here. What about this one? Um, this one. This is a herbivore. Let's pop in the the head. Okay, there you go. Pop it right in. It's known as a spike lizard. Styracosaurus. I think one of the more famous um, Ceratopsians out there that you guys should be extremely familiar with. Oh my goodness, we actually forgotten about this. This is basically like, um, you know, have to, you can attach this to this little book right here. And it becomes like a mini keychain for you guys. Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, too bad it is not a Jurassic World um, you know, product, otherwise it will be awesome. Okay, this one. This dinosaur has become extremely popular right now because of Jurassic World Dominion. What is it? The dinosaur with like the longest claws out there ever. Therizinosaurus, guys. Yep. Therizinosaurus is known as the Scythe Lizard because of the, you know, huge claws it, it has. You know, to be honest, I don't really feel the claws will have much power because they're so long and you slash it out at the opponent you could probably break your, your, your nails I mean, the, the claws Yeah, what do you guys think? I don't think it's powerful enough to like step through the Gigar Let's see what else we've got Here's another Theropod What is this? Another two fingers Dino Could be a T-Rex yeah, it could be a T-Rex. Could just be like a um, bad looking T-Rex or it could be a Tarbosaurus. Yeah. Let's see what else we've got. Another Ceratops shin. This is not a Triceratops. 100% it's not a Triceratops, I think. Uh, let's pop in. Oh my goodness, how do we do this? This is basically the skull. Pop it right in. Here's the body. Okay, what is this? Pentaceratops, five horn faces. It's pretty easily recognizable, just count the number of horns. One, two, three, four, five. Five horns right there. Yeah, I kind of enjoy doing this 3D puzzles because we haven't done this for like a year. 
at least a year guys at least a year or two yeah this is actually from my old collection so this is a Sora Pelta Sora Pelta if I'm not wrong is known as a shield lizard yes yeah, it's, it's a nice one in the head pretty nice one I love the color, com color combination but of course the paint application is actually quite sloppy it's not like the best quality high quality figures out there and Kylosaurus, so yeah, just now I, sh I was telling you guys that, you know, no way that could be an Ankylosaurus because this one is the Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus is known as the Fuse Lizard and it has a club at the end of the tail, not like two fins, but, you know, like the Euplocephalus. Okay, what, is, what about this one, Spinosaurus? Okay, I think we have to fix in um, the arms. Here's the other one. Let's pop in the arms. The body. Oh my goodness. All the game. Some of this 3D puzzles can be pretty flimsy as you guys can see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the arm is actually missing. Oh dear. Let's try the other way. Oh my goodness, Dan, you are such a clumsy person. Okay, I think this is the right way. Pop it in. And now the hit comes off. Okay. Okay, this is a very, very flimsy figure. We should put some glue on it and make it more stable. Spinal, guys, spinal. Okay, Spinosaurus, I'm gonna put it right over there. We still have a couple of. Um, okay, this one is a cool one. I don't think there's any way that you guys can actually guess the species of this huge sauropod. Yep. Nope. It's not an Apatosaurus. Nope. It's not a Diplodocus. Nope. It's not a Brachiosaurus. It is a Siamos Seismosaurus, which is known as the um, Thunder Lizard, if I'm not wrong. Seismosaurus is very, very long neck dinosaur, as you guys can see. Pretty impressive stuff. Okay, let's get one another one to assemble right here. What is this? Acrocanosaurus, guys. The high spine lizard. I've no idea why it's known as the high spine lizard. Where else the spinosaurus is known as the spine lizard? Because it's pretty obvious that the acrocanosaurus has a shorter or lower spine, neural spine bones as compared to the spinosaurus. So technically, spinosaurus should be known as a high spine lizard, right? doesn't really make sense okay here's another one what is this what is this okay uh, this one it's a very very cool one yes you are right guys the plotikers quite easily recognizable because all the plotikers you know all the figures they have spikes most of them most of them what about this one dilophosaurus okay guys able to see it Dilophosaurus so the, the, the Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park there's this huge frill but the actual fact is that Dilophosaurus does not have any huge frills let's move on okay this one is definitely the 100% T-Rex and this is like the, the arc rival which is the um, Spinosaurus so let's pop this right in this one I think is the best looking T-Rex figure in the uh, entire 3D puzzle collection so this is a pretty cool one. And here's the Spinosaurus. Pop in the tail. I mean the head. Yeah, we have two Spinosaurus as you guys can see. This is um, the other version. Nice, very nice. Let's see what else we've got. Um, we still have a couple of more. What is this? seems to be another Pantoceratops. I think so. I think so. We can do like a quick comparison later on. Yep, guys. Pantoceratops. This one is basically the same, same figure. I mean, they're using the same sculpt. And we have another young T-Rex right here. But this one is a... Um, oh, wow. This one, the paint scheme is pretty cool. It actually has some like... Lightning strikes down the body. Pretty awesome looking color combination. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Alright, a slimming dinosaur. I know I'm gonna get flamed by saying this. 
This is not a dinosaur. It is a prehistoric flying, not flying, prehistoric marine reptile, Elasmosaurus, or probably a plesiosaurus. And it comes with a base, pretty cool one. It comes with a rocky base. Nice, nice, very nice, guys. Awesome. We are left with two more, just two. What is this, guys? I don't think you are able to guess the name of this. This is a pretty. If you guys know the name of this dinosaur, you are a pretty. You are. You are. You know your dinosaurs, and you you must be an expert. Yep. What is this? It's known as a Singtosaurus. Yep. It was. It was a dark built dinosaur discovered in China. You know the mouth is actually very similar to the the mouths of Parasaurolophus, Iguanodons. Um, Oranosaurus, um, 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 yeah, I mean dark built dinosaurs, bas bas basically they have the dark, they have a mouth that looks like a dog, a dog's mouth basically, which is why they are known as dark built dinosaurs. And our last figure of the day is actually this one right here guys, the Brachiosaurus, let's pop it right in, okay, the other side, nice, Brachiosaurus. Yep, so today we have um, how many new figures? We have one, two, three, four, and five. My most favorite figure in today's video has to, has to be this T Rex from 4D Master. And it's all thanks to Jeremiah who sent us um, you know, really cool stuff to review on our channel. Um, and he also sent us um, very nice drawings and stuff, very nice letters. You are very appreciate. I mean, I really appreciate. Um, the stuff that you guys sent me. Yep. If you guys want to drop me like fan mail, any drawings, any letters to me, please, please do so. I'll be happy to read them, and I'll probably show them on my videos as well. Okay. So yeah. Um. Thanks for watching this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Yep. Let me know down below whether you guys want me to do more, three D puzzle figures. I think I enjoyed working on them. And um, hopefully you enjoyed as well. Alright, thanks for watching this. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.